So the correct way to pick him up, to put him on the table is under the armpits and then sitting him on the butt on your hand with your fingers one each side of his tail. So then you place him down and let go. Put him in position and we're going to always with a rabbit like this, a Jersey Woolly, we're going to brush from the back. So we're starting to pull the fur up. We're going to just do the little bit, little tail and a little bit down the bottom. And then we're going to let a little bit more down and do a little another layer. So it's like layer combing. A little bit more down. And so we know that all of that under fur is free of mats, of any matting or knotting. Now there's a mat. So we've got the mat there and it's close to the skin. So we're going to get the mat and finger it. And then we're going to start pulling it apart with our thumb and forefinger with the thumbnail on, on the pad of the forefinger. So find the mat and just start pulling it this way then this way and this way then this way and this way and this way this way and when you get resistance just go the other way just keep pulling the mat apart finger it again you can feel if it's coming and breaking apart keep pulling it apart every which way and you're just feeling it again it's breaking up it's right near the skin this one so we're going to just now we can comb a little bit with the slicker tiny little slicker for a tiny rabbit we see that we've got the mat there you see it's all out we just feel again a tiny bit still there we just pull that apart and it just comes out with the brush then so we just go up another little layer and again so we know all of this has been done there's a little mat we're just going to pull it out with our fingers if you can't feel it there now we'll brush it with the slicker and there it is in the slicker so we just keep going up the body up the body in layers and around this this area is quite tricky on the neck so we want to make sure the neck is free of mats a little bit to the side a little bit to the side and then just back pulling the ears head round pull the ears back forwards I mean okay we're controlling our rabbit with a pushing motion we never grab our rabbit or he will kick and scream and resist so we just push to get him in position so we're now we're going to do under the neck we're just going to have pressure here and pressure here under the chin with our finger and we're going to have our body here our arm to stop him going back we're just going to do a little bit under his neck so once again i'd like to go under the fur so i'm going to start down there this is a trickier one because he's more sensitive here we're just going to pull the fur down little by little making sure that right through there are no mats that it's all flowing smoothly so now we've done under the chin we've done this area we're going to sit him up give him a bit of support here under the butt and sit him on his butt against your belly little legs down just get him a bit comfortable there so we're just going to <laughs> just going to give him a little tiny groom here bunnies like this can get poops stuck in their fur easily and they can become a mat with a poop inside so we take them off we're just going up his little belly if he does that just resume <clears throat> just resume just put him back again That's a little difficult, so I'm going to switch to a comb now. I'm using the wide tooth. I'm just going to go up his belly. That's okay. We're just going to twist him around and sit him back. And we're doing his little belly. 
We just do it down his little legs. That's the boy. And we're not holding him tight. We're just having a bit of a hanging hold here and against the body. It's underside is always a little bit more difficult. So we're just gonna feel for mats. There aren't any. And little feet. We have to feel for mats on the feet. So there's a, the little feet need to be groomed. So we're gonna hold him like that under our arm and stretch his little foot down a bit. And I can feel a mat in the foot. So I'm gonna pin the foot to the table. Remember we're using vet fleece, it's very comfortable. And we're just gonna to try to pull that little mat apart on his feet. Same thing, thumb it, thumb, th thumbnail against pad of forefinger. We're just pulling these mats apart in his little feet and we're pinning him here. Sarah, just put the camera around to this side so they can see the arm. Just pinning him against the body. It's only a gentle hold, but otherwise he'll flip about. So now we'll just try to flicker that foot. Tiny little slicker brush for a little tiny rabbit. We can hold the leg here. We've got control of it. We're just slickering that because it's really tiny rabbit. It's very hard to pull the mats apart on the foot. Use the fine comb, fine tooth. See if we can get some of that out. Here's one little mat. There's still a little bit of matting there. Let's try pulling it apart again. Tiny little one. That's okay. When he does that, just reposition him. You have to get it all sorted again with the hold. And gently bring his little leg down. So if he's really stressing, we can do this the next day again. So we can do a little bit and then resume the next day so that he's not having stress for a long time. We're just looking for mats. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. That's okay. We just look at this little foot again. So we've got a little bit of matting happening there. So because he's stressing, we're going to do a little bit of this today with the foot. And then we'll come back tomorrow and do a little bit more. And again the next day, just to... Keep working on it so that we get the mats out. It's not too bad. But you must have a proper slicker brush to get these, to separate the furs. So you can see now he's lovely and fluffy and he's mat free except for those tiny little ones on his feet, which we'll deal with tomorrow on a second session. And when you do around the face, always cover the eye. If you want to do the side of the face, always put your fingers over the eye because otherwise you could hurt his eye. Stop.